Hey there, what's going on people? Nico Bowie Reviewer here. Um, thought I'd do a revisit on one of my older reviews. Um, the review was done at night, which was one thing which didn't help the didn't help the video. Um, but I'd also like to review this knife after the, uh, I don't know, uh, two to three months of heavy use and hard abuse, and it's still holding up strong. And I'm talking about the Ontario Knife Co. SP10 Raider. Bowie Knife Spec Plus, model number 8684, made in the USA, um, awesome Bowie Knife, sturdy, strong, um, and it just, it, it's, it's taken a beating over the last couple of months, and it's still holding up strong, it's my go-to knife for hacking, slashing, chopping, batoning, um, it's yeah, one of my favourite um, everyday use knives, Bowie knives that is. Um, so we'll just do a, a quick recap on it all. This is the box it comes in. I love the Ontario Knife Co boxes. I reckon they're nice and sleek. Just yeah, they're all pretty much the same with the OCK logo on the front, little warning label there, and. Um, Inside you've got your one year, I think it's a one year warranty card. Yeah, it's a one year limited warranty card. So, which I hopefully won't need to use, but I don't think I will. I'll put the box aside. Um, here's the knife in the sheath. And now we'll take a look, quick look at the sheath. So, the sheath is, is nylon, is all nylon. Um, it's got, um, it's got two fasteners, one that goes over the shoulder of the knife that clips in and one that goes over the handle with a button, which also clips in with a button clip. And um, each little clip has got um, 1889 written on it, which is, I think it's a nice touch by Ontario. I think that's when they were established. Um, it's molly, molly compatible, as you can see there on the back. I'm not gonna undo it all, but you can see the button there, or the clip there where it comes undone. Yeah, so molly compatible which is good. It's got a nice tight belt loop. Not, not your biggest belt loop, but it's there. It's got your leg lanyard holes, cool feature. So this is a very diverse sheath um, and, it's, and it's well built. It's got a plastic inner shell, um, basically, basically to keep that knife in there nice and tight and to protect the blade. Um, but yeah, getting back to the, the 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 fit and finish of the sheath, it's 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 just well built. The stitching's all nice and tight, if you will. It's solid. It, it's it feels solid in the hand. Like yeah, it's it's you can tell it's a well built nylon sheath. So. Yeah, nice sheath. I am impressed with it. Put the knife in the sheath. Goes in there relatively easily. Well, really easy actually. Fasten it up. And once that's in there, that's not going anywhere. It's in there nice and tight. So, good job there by Ontario to um, get that tight fitting knife in the sheath so you got, I've had no problems with it um, hanging around my waist. Um, it is a bit annoying having the two fastening straps but um, I get over it pretty quickly. Um, so, because it's the sheath is just, um, yeah, really good. Um, and the, that no movement in there just um, makes it all, all for the better. Now we get to the handle of the knife. 
little bit closer here. So that's what we're looking at. As you can see, I've sharpened it a few times and um, yeah, that, that grind's gone right up. Um, but getting back to the handle, so it's uh, a full hidden tang handle. It's 13 centimeters long or fifth or 5.1 inches. Um, it's a black non-slip craton handle. It's got these ridges in here which give you extra grip and it does feel grippy in the hand. Like it's, it's, it's phenomenal to hold and chop with. Like it, there's just virtually no slipness or slipperiness. Um, it, it's got, I do believe, has a, a, a little bit of water resistant properties because I've used it in some dewy and damp conditions. Um, but getting back to the crate on handle, um, it's a synthetic polymer which offers many of the same properties as, as rubber, um, except you get increased resistant to heat, weathering, and chemicals. So, um, and it's done by crate on polymers stainless steel oval guard that goes all the way around hand guard um, to keep your hand nice and safe from that blade um, lanyard hole with a brass fitting in there um, and like i said it feels really good in the hand and yeah i've never had a problem with it slipping out of my hand so good job there by ontario on that handle now we get to the blade Go through the specs of the blade. Um, it's uh, 25 centimeters long or 9.84 inches overall length. We have 38.5 centimeters or five or 15.15 inches thickness. Nice thick blade, 6.35 millimeters or 0 0.25 inches which runs almost all the way down the spine of the blade, the blade until you get to the swedge. Um, so yeah, very thick knife, which um, is one of the reasons why it can handle such abuse, especially with batoning. Um, the, width that, the width at its widest point here is 5.1 centimeters or 1.96 inches. The weight, it's got a perfect weight of 634 grams or 22.36 ounces. Now the reason why I say it's a perfect weight, for the size of the knife, the weight just feels right and it feels so well balanced. Find the balancing point there. It's just so well balanced, the knife, and the weight is just... It's not too heavy, it's not too light, it just feels perfect. Ontario, Ontario have done a very good job of getting that weight right um, to, you know, enable great chopping power and slashing power and all that. Um, it's got a hardness rating of 57 to 59 on the HRC rating. Um, the blade itself is a clip point style blade as you can see with this the nice defined swedge um 1095 carbon steel with a black powder coating for um, increased rust resistant as we know 1095 is prone to rust so i've got to keep this i use my um I'll get it out. I should have showed you a few times um, the stuff I use just because the bevel now has been exposed from an increase from, a, from sharpening it so many times. This is this dry coat rust preventative spray. I'm always going to bring it up because it's such a good idea. Um, I, I don't know if it works as good as oiling, but it's. Um, it is, it's a rust preventative spray, it dries to the touch, and it's just easier to put on and use. Now it's got a full flat grind, which goes almost halfway up the blade. Um, I, I guess that's a good thing because the amount of times I've sharpened it, um, or that it's been sharpened, 
you can see the some of the black powder coatings starting to come off um, uh, what was I going to say yeah so on the uh, one side you've got the Ontario knife USA on the other side you've got the SP10 Raider Bowie so now I'll just give you a quick look at it it's a beautiful looking knife Bowie knife Now you might say, is it still sharp? Is it still sharp? Yes, it's still honed in razor sharp. Very well balanced knife. I love using this knife. So we'll do a, I'll show you how sharp it is still. We'll do a paper cut test. this through and you can still get an edge like that is very impressive very impressive so I highly recommend this knife um, to anyone out there who wants a good chopper a good slasher a good batona it's the value for money is excellent compared to some of the other Bowie knives out there um, it's it's just a really well built um well built knife um so yeah that about sums it up i'll leave it at that that's the ontario knife co sp10 raider bowie knife that's nico bowie reviewer signing out till next time see you later bye bye